It's the game where super fans battle it out. I'm your host, Michael Fairman. Get ready as we play Soap Opera Know It All. Hi, everybody. Well, welcome to another episode of Soap Opera Know It All, where we test and we deep dive into soap opera trivia with some amazing contestants from around the country and this time today from around the world. Um, we are back. We've got a great show tonight. And let me introduce you to our returning champ, David Bursky, who's back for another round of this. And David, you are, where are you? You're in Pennsylvania, right? Bryn I'm in Bryn Mawr, Pennsylvania, which is the suburbs of Philadelphia. Right. And you, what do you do for a living? I'm a social worker, HIV AIDS case manager. And how do you enjoy that? Oh, love it. I love it. It's great. Do, do they know you love soap operas? So now, <laughs> yes, all my colleagues shared it with the, everybody on this on the executive staff yes and your favorite show if i remember from last time is all my children yeah and do you have a second favorite show one life to live one life to live okay and we have with us elvin scott and elvin how are you and you I'm are in great. san diego i think right yes i'm in san diego uh, i've been here two and a half years originally from new york uh, I'm a banker out here in California, and yeah, uh, my favorite all-time soap is Santa Barbara, and uh, I love The Bold and Beautiful. Oh, so you're Santa Barbara Bold and Beautiful, and and do the bank the people that know that you're in banking know that you love soap operas, or is it? They a do. They do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I have like uh like this uh travel mug thing that I bring my coffee in. It's, it's from The Bold and Beautiful, so they know. <laughs> I have a bold and beautiful lunch bag. Uh, uh, I have the lunchbox. I do too. I got that one too. <laughs> if I go anywhere with the lunchbox, it's kind of a giveaway. Like, what is this old man doing with a lunchbox? No, I love it, man. I'm carrying mine around Central Park. It was great. <laughs> and we have Ashley with us. Hi, Ashley. And Hi. I believe you're in Ohio. Yes, Ohio. Akron Canton area. Akron Canton area. And now I know you had an affinity for the soaps for a very long time. Yes, like my grandma. Yes, You're my grandma got me hooked on them. She did. I know. was watching. I was watching Young and Restless. She got me hooked on that because at the time, um, the hope, the character of Hope was on, and she was blind, and I'm blind. So my grandma thought of me every time she watched Hope. So she got me introduced to the show because of Hope. And I think it's oh. so amazing that Ashley has been able to follow the soaps. Your story is so amazing, Ashley, that you can follow what's going on just by hearing what's happening. I mean, you must be very in tune, right? Kind of like, <laughs> must know when the music happens, so and so is coming. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and your mom, Nancy, is helping us today. So if Nancy ends up in popping in, you know. There, that, that's who that is. Um, but it's so great. Hi, Nancy. Thank you for helping Hi. us. And we have from Tel Aviv, Israel, Erez. How are you, Erez? And I'm okay. <laughs> waking up. You're waking up. We've really kind of wrecked your morning. <laughs> because we have a big time difference. But I think it is so amazing. I love that you reached out to me to play this mm -hmm. game. I love that, I mean, all of you have had such great um, stories to tell me, and I really wanted to show people the breadth of how far reaching soaps are and impact so many different people's lives. So in Tel Aviv, do you have soaps in Tel Aviv for those who don't may not know? We do, we don't have all the American soaps, but uh, right now there are wine are and Bold and Beautiful airing, but we also had another soaps in the past as well. Okay, and how long have you been following the soap operas? Well, uh, ever since I remember uh, hiding behind the curtain in the living room when my parents <laughs> watched Dallas when I was like three years old or something. That long. <laughs> That's pretty great. That's pretty great. And what do you do for a living? What do you do in Israel? I'm a lawyer. You're a lawyer. And Ashley, you work with... I know you have a really cool thing that you do, right? Yes, I, I teach blind and visually impaired children. All right, guys. So let me tell you that tonight uh, you'll be playing for prizes from One Life to Live, which includes some autographs, 
uh, pictures from some of the cast, a One Life to Live t-shirt, and some of the One Life stars are with us tonight asking questions and revealing answers on the game board. And our friends at Retro TV are back with us with the doctors. We have some really great legacy stars who are asking the questions tonight from the doctors in a later round. The Doctors airs weekdays at 12 noon and 7.30 on Retro Stations and streaming on My Retro TV at 4 p.m. Eastern Time here in the U.S. You can subscribe and download its Real Good TV app now on Roku, Apple, and Android devices or streaming online at itsrealgoodtv.com. You'll get instant access to hundreds of shows from five different networks plus on-demand access to The Doctors. The big prize at the end of the season is our soap opera hookup where one fan, the person that is our ultimate champion at the end of the eight episodes, we will hook them up with their favorite soap star, either via Zoom or FaceTime, pending their availability. So always have in the back of your mind, who would you really like to talk to? We had a little drawing before we went on to tape and Ashley, has won the right to ask and pick the first question on the board. And let me tell you the categories for round one, General Hospital, Falcon Crest, Loving, One Life to Live, Santa Barbara, and The Bold and the Beautiful. Okay, Ashley, you control the board. What would you All like? Right. Um, let's do General Hospital for 10, please. General Hospital for 10. Who did Luke Spencer accidentally kill with a baseball bat when he was a teenager? Who did Luke Spencer, David? His mother, Lena? That Spencer. is correct. You control the board. General Hospital for 40. He played Valerie Harper's husband on Rhoda, but appeared on GH as D.L. Brock. Who was he? David. David Gro, G-R-O-H. Correct. Okay. GH, General Hospital, 450. Who is the biological mother of Ethan Lovett, played by Nathan Parsons? Ashley. Holly, Holly Sutton. Correct, it is Holly Sutton. You control the board. Um, let's do General Hospital for 20. Which character shot his own son and which character did he shoot? So we need the names of the characters. Elvin, are you beeping? Yeah, me. yeah. Sonny Corinthos and Dante Falconeri. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> you got it. You can throw the board. All righty. So I'm going to do Santa Barbara for 10. How many daytime Emmys did Santa Barbara win for Outstanding Drama Series? Elvin. Three. three. It is three. Okay. 1988, 89, oh. and 90. All righty. Yay. Let's do Santa Barbara for 20. What role did Eileen Davidson play on Santa Barbara that was originated by Robin Wright, Elvin? Kelly Capwell. <laughs> it is Kelly Capwell. All righty. So keep it on Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara for 30. Terry Lester and Gordon Thompson both took over this role on Santa Barbara. El Jason Capwell. Yes. Santa Barbara for 40. Four actors played C.C. Capwell during Santa Barbara's run. Who was the last one? Elvin. Jed Allen. It is Jed Allen. All righty, you're gonna do Santa Barbara for 50. <laughs> All right, last Santa Barbara question. When Kim Zimmer and Sydney Penny came on to Santa Barbara, what were the names of their mother-daughter duo? Mm. Oh, 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 oh God. Oh, Jody Walker and BJ Walker. Yes, that is correct. <laughs> okay, Elvin. All righty, let's go to Bold and Beautiful for 10. Who is the biological father of Ridge Forrester? Eris, wait, what did you, you have it? Uh, Maroni. The yes. one who was Stefano Di Mero on days. Yes, Massimo Maroni. Okay. Yes. Let's go to Falcon Crest at 10. What was the name of the late actress who played Julia Cumson? You asked who played her? Yeah. Who hit oh. El Elvin. Wait, Elvin. It was Abby Dalton. Yes, Abby Dalton. Correct. 
All right, I'm going to go uh, B&B for 20. Who had sex with Brooke, mistaking her for Hope? Oliver. Oh. Oliver Jones. Yes, Oliver Jones. <laughs> okay. All righty, B&B for 30. When Joanna Johnson returned to the Bold and the Beautiful in 2009, who did you meet? Eras. Karen Spencer. Yes, it is Karen Spencer. Okay, Falcon Crest for 20. Which actor played Cole Giaberti? Eras. William J. Moses. Yes. William R. Moses, sorry. William R. Moses, correct. <laughs> Falcon Crest for 30. Before Falcon Crest, she starred on the soaps A World Apart and Another World. Who is she? Eras. Susan Eras. Sullivan? Correct. Yeah. Okay, you so can Falcon Crest for 40. Okay, everybody, Falcon Crest for 40. What was the name of Angela Channing's brother who was killed, which set the stage for her to take over the winery? David. Jason Giobarte. Jason Giobarte. Okay, David, you control the board. One Life to Live for 50. Here is a question from one of the all-time favorites of One Life to Live, Andrea Evans. Hi, it's Andrea Evans, and here is my question. Tina's favorite and most beloved companion was her Shih Tzu. My question is, what was its name? David. David Vickers. Let's go to Andrea for the correct answer. And the answer is David Vickers. That is correct. It is David Vickers. Dave, you control the board. Loving for 50. In 1991, this actor was the only performer from Loving ever to win a daytime Emmy. Who was he? David? Bernard Barrow. It is Bernard Barrow who played Louis Slavinsky on the show. One Life to Live for 40. Here is a question from James DePaiva. Hi, Jim DePaiva here, and this is my question. When Max Holden first arrived on the scene in Landview, whom did he receive money from in exchange for luring Tina Lord away from Cord Roberts? Yes, Eris. I just guessed, um, Asa Buchanan? And the answer is Maria Roberts. Cord's mother. It was Maria Roberts. Cord's oh, mother. right. The mother. I forgot about Maria. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. David? One life to live for 30. And here is a question from one of my all-time favorites, Cassie DePaiva. Hi. Cassie DePaiva here. And here's my question. What are the names of Blair's sons? Hint. One is a biological son from Todd and the other is an adoptive son from Victor. David. Jack and Sam. The answer is Jack and Sam. Correct. It is Jack and Sam. One life to live for 20. Let's go to Eddie Alderson with the 20 point question. Eddie. Hi, it's Eddie Alderson here, AKA Matthew Buchanan. Here's my question. Which character did Matthew murder? The answer is the evil Eddie Ford, played by John Wesley Shipp. The answer is Eddie Ford, played by John Wesley Shipp. He murdered Eddie Ford. Oh, yeah, that's right. The father. Mm -hmm. Loving for 40. What role did Bulls Michael Weatherly play on Loving? David. Cooper Alden. Correct. It is Cooper Alden. Loving for 30. Who was revealed to be the Corinth serial killer when the characters of Stacy, Clay, Curtis, Cabot, Isabel, and Jeremy lost their lives? David. Gwyneth Alden. Correct. Loving for 20. Two of the most iconic writers in soap opera history created loving. Who were they? Elden. Agnes Nixon and Douglas Marlin. Correct. The Ball of the Beautiful for 50. Ashlyn Pierce played a character who definitely had deep emotional issues. Who was it? Ashley. Um, Allie Forrester. Correct. Oh, that's right. We control the board. Let's do Bone the Beautiful for a 40. 
What was the name of Steffi's twin sister who died in a car crash? Ashley. Phoebe Forrester. Correct. It is Phoebe oh. Forrester. Um, let's do General Hospital for th- 30. What did the L and B stand for in L and B records? Ashley. Lois and Brenda. Correct. Let's do one life to live for 10. Here is Kristen Alderson with a 10 point question. Kristen. It's Kristen Alderson. And here is my question. What was the name of star and Cole's child who died? Ashley. Hope. The correct answer is hope. Correct. You control the board. Uh, Let's do loving for 10. Daytime first met General Hospital's Laura Wright on Loving. What role did she play? Ashley. Um, Allie. 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 Weston. Yes. <laughs> Correct. Falcon Crest for 50. This former Dark Shadows favorite has a key role on Falcon Crest. Who was he? Erez. Richard Channing played by David Selby. Correct. Well, that's the end of round one. It was so competitive, but let me tell you the leaderboard of where we stand right now. Here's the leaderboard for round number one. Dave is in the lead with 290 points, followed by Elvin with 220. Then comes Ashley with 190, followed by Eris with 140 points. And now here's a bonus question from One Life to Live's Eddie Alderson for you to ponder until we reveal it after round number two's leaderboard. Take it away, Eddie. Eddie Alderson here. This is my question. In the final episode of One Life to Live, what did Destiny and Matthew name their son? All right. So in round number two, which we are going to play now, the contestants pair up in teams. And Eris, because he had the lowest score coming out of round one, gets to pick who he would like to pair with. And he has chosen David as his partner for the game. And that leaves the A team, Elvin and Ashley, to pair hey. together. <laughs> Simple to remember that right there. Um, in, the, in round number two, the point totals are doubled for each uh, question. Um, and, and again, you guys should converse amongst yourselves. One answer per team. If the answer is wrong, you can't come back with another answer. It's the other person's, other team's chance to answer. If nobody answers, we move on. And then whoever controlled the board will continue with that. All right, and here we go. Here are the game board categories for round number two. All my children, days of our lives, dynasty, guiding light, the doctors, and the young and the restless. And may I say that former cast members of the doctors will be asking questions to the contestants should and when they pick um, that category. All right, here we go. When we, I, I, we will start with David and as the highest point getter and Eras, what would you like on the board? I wanna do all my children for 80. Who shot and killed Sybil Thorne? Who shot and killed Sybil Thorne? Dave? It, it, Sean Cuddy. Yeah. You control the board. All all my children for a hundred. When all my children debuted, Mona Kane was working as a secretary for what doctor? David? Charles Tyler. Correct, it is Charles Tyler. (laughs) Doctors for 100. Well, here is a question for one of the all time greats, Kim Zimmer. Kim, what is your question? Hi, it's Kim Zimmer, and here's my question. Frank Telfer and Terry O'Quinn played brothers to my character, Nola Dancy, on The Doctors. My question is, what were their characters' names? I need the question. I'm sorry, I need the question repeat. I didn't hear the first. It was Luke Dancy is one brother. Frank and the other Telfer brother. And Terry O'Quinn played brothers to Kim Zimmer's character, Nola Dancy. What were their names and characters? You said Luke Dancy. Luke Dancy and... Shoot, come on. And the answer is Luke and Jerry Dancy. It was Luke and Jerry Dancy. Luke and Jerry Dancy. Okay, you can control the board. Doctors for 80. 
And here again is Kim Zimmer with another question. Kim, take it away. Hi, it's Kim Zimmer, and here's my question. Two actresses from The Doctors appeared in the film Body Heat. One of them was me, and who was the other? Dave? Oh. Uh, it's Kathleen Turner. And the answer is Kathleen Turner. Yes, it is Kathleen Turner. Dave? Uh, doc the Doctors for 60. Here is Elizabeth Hubbard with the 60 point question. When uh, Dr. Matt was chief of staff at Hope Memorial, uh, what was Dr. Althea chief of, if anything? <laughs> yeah. When she did, when the show debuted in 1965, Althea was chief of internal medicine. No, she ran the outpatient clinic for the hospital. She ran the outpatient clinic. Okay. The doctors for 40. Here's another question from the great Elizabeth Hubbard. Who was Dr. Althea's true love? Do you need a hint? David. Nick Bellini. Yes, it was Nick Bellini. Okay. All my children for 60. What was Dr. Angie Hubbard's maiden name played by Debbie Morgan? Ashley. Baxter. Yes, it was Angie Baxter. Let's do all my children for 20. How did Jenny Gardner played by Kim Delaney die? Oh, Ashley. Yeah. She, um, there was a explosion on the jet ski boat thing that she yes. was on. She, she, while riding on a jet ski that was rigged a bomb that exploded. Yes. yes. Yay! All, all my children for 40. <laughs> all my children for 40. He was just cast as the Green Lantern in HBO Max's series of Elvin. Ben Rock. Right? But he played Tad's son in All My Children. It is yes. Ben Rock. Okay, Dynasty for 20. Okay. What role did Rock Hudson play on Dynasty, who was a potential love interest for Crystal? David. Daniel Reese. Yeah. Correct. It is Daniel Reese. Guiding Light for. 80. Who appeared in the final scene of Guiding Light as it went off the air? Elvin. Oh. It, wasn't it Raymond Josh <laughs> in the car? Yeah, it was. Yeah, Raymond Josh in the car, in the truck. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it was. <laughs> okay, let's do day three. Okay, <laughs> Ashley and, okay, here we go. Ready, guys? Who is yes. going to be the Salem stalker? David. Andre Demira. It turned out to be Andre Demira, is what you're saying. It turned it was out Marlena, to be Andre Demira, yeah. But you're saying it was Marlena, and it turned out to be Andre Demira, correct? Okay. Days of Our Lives for... One, two, six? How's Days of Our Lives for 60? Okay, Days of Our Lives for 60. Who played Nick Fallon and who killed him? Ashley. Um, Blake, 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 Blake Barris. Barris. Blake, Blake, Blake Barris. Barris played Nick. And then Gabby Hernandez killed him. That is correct. That is correct. Let's do Young and the Restless for 20. What role did Marco Dapper play who had an affair with Lauren? What role did Marco Dapper play whose character had an affair with Lauren? Dave, are you beeping in? Yeah. I, Car, Car, Carmine. Yes. I think it's Carmine, I think. Carmine. Carmine. It is. Carmine You're Basto, not. yes. Days of Our Lives for 100. Before mm -hmm. Greg Vaughn, which primetime star played the role of Eric Brady? Ashley. Jensen Eccles. Correct. <laughs> it's Jensen Eccles. Let's do Days of Our Lives for 40. Yeah. What role did Felice Sampler play on Days? Elvin. Renee DeMira. No, yeah. Renee DeMira, yeah. Renee DuMond, yeah. Yeah. Fine. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. I was like, wait, so I see it wrong? <laughs> okay. Days for 20. Who played Trish Clayton on Days, who later went on to YNR in the role of Gina Roma? David. Eddie Weaver. Correct. <laughs> Guiding Light for 100. He won back to back daytime Emmys in 1996 and 1997 for his role as Marcus Williams on Guiding Light. Who was he? What is the name of the actor? 
He won back-to-back Daytime Emmys in 1996 and 1997. Or visualize. It's it's Kevin Mambo. Kevin mm, Mambo. Yeah. Guiding light for 60. What role did daytime Emmy winner Jeff Branson play when he was recast Ashley? Shane Lewis. That's correct. Let's do YR for 40. What roles did Jamie Lynn Bauer and Janice Lynn play and they were sisters? Ashley. Leslie and Lori Brooke. Brooks. Yes, correct. <laughs> Leslie and Lori Brooks. Y and R for 60. Who had sex with Drusilla when she was loopy on cold medication? <laughs> Ashley. Oh, Malcolm, Malcolm. Malcolm Winters. Malcolm, Malcolm. Malcolm Winters. Malcolm is correct. Guy life for 40, right? That's sure. Fun. This popular actress quit the show. And because of her popularity, the show decided not to recast the role of Rita Stapleton. What is the name of the actress? David. Lenore Kasdorf. Correct. Why not for eating? Who was Sharon's best friend who seduced Nick? Ashley. Oh, I love her. Grace Grace Grace. Turner. Okay. Ashley and Alvin. Let's finish out Y&R. Okay. For 100. (laughs) Okay. Okay. We could do it. We could do it. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Who played Victor's mother and father on YNR? I know the father. David. David. Aaron. So it's David. George Kennedy and right. Dorothy McGuire. Yes. Dorothy McGuire. Yes. Correct. <laughs> Dynasty for 60. Who is the former one-time lover of Crystal's who was a geologist in the ABC version? I know, of- I know. Erez, yes. Matthew Blagel? Yes, correct. I think we've got up to 20, don't, don't we? Here is James Storm, who played Mike Powers on The Doctors with the 20-point question. James. Hi, I'm Jim Storm, played Mike Powers on The Doctors. Uh, in 1979, there was a huge uh, terrorist attack um, on the hospital. And my question is, uh, who was the actor playing the lead of the organization, of the terrorist organization? Uh, the clue is, uh, he later went on to doing Broadway, uh, and then he went on to doing uh, All My Children. David. David Canary. The answer is David Canary. It is David Canary. Guiding Light for 20. Guiding Light for 20. What role did Jane Elliott play on Guiding Light? Elvin. Oh, um, Carrie. Yes, it is Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, that was an amazing round. I think you could say that we have some great players. I mean, everybody knows a lot of something and a lot of the show. <laughs> so, um, this was really, really close. All right, here's the leaderboard after round number two. Dave is in first place with 950, followed by Elvin with 880, Ashley with 850, and then Eris with 800. And now here's One Life to Live's Eddie Alderson with the answer to tonight's bonus question. Take it away, Eddie. The answer is Drew, named after Matthew's late half-brother, Drew Ralston. Before we let these guys go, let's go to break. Here's James Storm with a trivia question from the doctors for everybody at home. In 1979, love fell off the road and uh, Mike Powers and his wife, Sarah, were in a horrible automobile accident which left Mike Powers paraplegic. Sarah survived. My question is, what was the argument in the car that caused the car to go off the road? I just want to say, Ashley and Eras, this was so amazing. First of all, Ashley, I am so impressed with you. You have no idea. You've won my heart and everybody else's for like knowing the soaps the way you do. Thank Absolutely. you. And being able to do it. Um, incredible. You know, incredible. incredible. 
um, you're, you're such a great example for, for those um, who can't see. And, um, and you know your soaps. <laughs> like I'm gonna call you when I need to do research. <laughs> it's tough. <laughs> really, really tough. And Eras, oh my God. First of all, a million and one thanks for waking up in the middle of the night. Yes. I cannot thank we never you knew somebody would thank me for waking up, but yeah. Thank you for waking up to be with us. I cannot tell you how cool it was to have oh, you, you all the way from Tel Aviv. I mean, really, it was really cool. And oh, you're frozen. <laughs> it was my pleasure. I had a lot of, a lot of fun. <laughs> I hope you had fun. And um, uh, thank you so much. And um, we will all stay in touch. Sure. Okay. All right. Bye. Thank, thank you. you. Have a good night. Thank Mom. you, guys. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you guys bye. were great. You guys bye. were great. Bye. bye. Let's go back to James Storm with the answer to this question from the doctors. And the answer is, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> well, it was a tape that was made confessing Sarah's love and admiration and sexual desire to Colin Wakefield. Okay. We are back with our final two of this evening, which is David Bursky, who is our reigning champion, and Elvin Scott, who is trying to dethrone him uh, for the Silk Opera Know-It-All <laughs> title at the moment. Who will go on to the next episode is what we're playing for. And it's time for the knockout round. And in the knockout round, we play a video question from a star, famous soap star, to the contestants. If they get the correct answer, if they both get the correct answer, we play on. If one gets the correct answer, that's the end of the game. If nobody gets an answer and it's completely wrong, we keep playing and then we go to sudden death till we have one winner. This is for the One Life to Live merchandise, it's for the One Life to Live autographs, it's for the six month subscription to It's Real Good TV and Retro TV swag and the right to continue on to be our know-it-all champion at season's end. All right, so here we go. This question in the knockout round is from Kristen Alderson of One Life to Live. Here is Kristen with tonight's final question. Hi, this is Kristen Alderson and this is my question. What was the name of the musical event on One Life to Live that featured Star in the spring of 2010? Hint, it is not Prom Night the Musical. Okay, you have 30 seconds to write down your answer. Go. I don't know. Yes. All right, I think our contestants have it. Um, show me, Elvin, what your oh. answer is. Of course, you're going to show the wrong answer first. <laughs> High School Musical. Okay. And now, Dave. Something like that. It's close. Babes Behind Bars. Okay. Elvin is saying High School Musical. David is saying Babes Behind Bars. Let's go to Kristen Alderson for the correct answer. And the answer is star-crossed lovers. Star-crossed lovers. <laughs> no, guys, both of you are wrong. It was star-crossed lovers. Star-crossed no. lovers. So we will play on oh another God. question. All right, well, guys, we're playing on It's Sudden Death. And as you know, tonight we've been visited by many of the past stars of One Life to Live, and I can't thank them enough for being with us. It's so fun, and I think everyone knows it's my favorite show of all time, so it was so great to have them here. And here's another one for you guys, and this question is from Andrea Evans. 
Hi, Andrea Evans here again. Before learning that Victor Lord was her biological father, Tina actually believed that this man was her dad. Who was he? You have 30 seconds to write down your answer. What is the answer to Andrew's question? And again, for everybody at home, the question is before learning that Victor Lord was her biological father, Tina believed that this man was her dad. Who was he? Okay, time's up. Here we go. David, what is your answer to Andrea's question? You're saying Ted Clayton. Okay, Alvin, what is your answer to Andrea's question? It says Reverend Manning. <laughs> <laughs> and David, you're saying it's Ted Clayton. Let's go to Andrea Evans. <laughs> for tonight's correct answer. And the answer is Ted Clayton. It is Ted Clayton. <laughs> David, and you won the game! Hey, Ted. David, congratulations. Thanks. <laughs> congratulations, David. You have won two episodes now and you've got so much doctor swag. I don't know what you're gonna do with it when it all comes. And Elvin, thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate you coming on and you know so much of soaps. Thank you so much. Have a yeah, wonderful thank you. night. David, I guess we'll be seeing you again. <laughs> ah. um, and congratulations. congratulations. All right, guys. <laughs> thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back with another episode of Soap Opera Know It All very soon. Take care. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon for another edition of Soap Opera Know It All.